How is everyone? How is everyone? It's warm, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah. Well, on the last video, by the way, I, thank you, everyone. Um, the support is insane. You know, when I started this, I just managed to get 50 subscribers. I'm almost on 500, all by myself as well. Um, all down to you lot. Honestly, the legends, the support as well, like the actual encouragement and the messages is, it, it, it genuinely, it, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, on to the news. Keep going, by the way. Because I'm going to do this next year, regardless. I'm going to do it more. There's going to be more games. There's going to be more content. Um, yeah, appreciate the support. But anyway, mm, where should we start? Players. Players or manager? Players. We're going to need to expect a lot of changes this year. It's going to happen, regardless of where we stay up or go down. And for me, that's fine. Look, players have release clauses in their contract. If they get paid, they have to go. That is fine by me. Players don't owe loyalty to Leeds. That's just a fact. We might think they do, but they don't. They haven't performed enough. That's on them. Detriment to them. That's them. That's up to them. Right. We're going to lose a lot of players. Some seen players like Rocker linked, uh, Clark linked, Meslier linked. If they go, that's fine. Also, people that think Rock is not a footballer, by the way. Real Betis finished sixth and they're playing in Europe next year, and he's their main central midfielder target. In the right system, any of these players can be good. He wasn't in the right system at all this season, really. Um, but enough on that. Now, on, on, on players. And for me, this is my mindset. Regardless of who goes or who stays, what we have to do is be bullish. We're going into a... If we get relegated, by the way, it's still a 3% chance. Right. We probably will. It's not impossible, but it's extremely likely. If we get relegated, what we need to do straight away, and there's only 50 days till the, between the end of the season, chance for window, and the start of the championship. Not a lot. Get rid of the players straight away. Get them gone. Get the money we need for them. Get them gone. In terms of keeping players, this is vital. We have to be really bullish. Really bullish. I'm seeing Tyler Adams and Willie Nonto. Leeds want to keep them. Now, with Nonto, I believe there's no clause in his contract, right? We go down. No release clause. I believe. We bought him for so little. That'd be ridiculous if there's like a 2 million release clause. So I don't think there is. So to us, we're telling him, you are staying. How will he take that? He's got to take it well. As a club, we own that player. He's got a contract to us. He's not got no clause in his contract to leave. We have a right to keep him. Whether that's down to... And then the board might say, well, actually, we'll let you go through respect of this. Going early isn't always the right thing for young players. And I look at Jack Grealish and Calvin Phillips. Jack Grealish got relegated with Aston Villa and he was by far the best player that season. He stayed for a few more years in the championship with Villa get them back up, got them back up, then went to Man City for 100 million. Same with Calvin Phillips, didn't get promoted with Leeds. Every club wanted him in the middle to bottom half of the Premier League. Every club stayed with Leeds next year, got them promoted. Went for 60 million the year after, first year. Willie is 19 years old. No rush for him. He could stay with Leeds if we got everything right and we were really bullish in every department, we kept him. That's a statement. We got that right, kept him, and then we get everything right, get promoted. He'll be, what, 2021? 20, back in the Premier League? Nothing. Still a kid. Still a young man. 21. He then kills it in that year with the prim in the Premier League with Leeds. Does really well. His value will shoot through the wheel. He'll get every opportunity in the world. If he's the player we think he is. That's what will happen. He could, he could leave right now. He could go to a top European team and not play. Or he could go to a decent team. We've seen like Fiorentina, Fiorentina in Italy, places like that. Play a bit. Slowly increase his stock. But for me, having a decent season in Serie A isn't that progressive as having a great season in the Championship. Because you're still at a big club. You still have a lot of eyes on you. You're still on radars of teams in the top leagues. And if you get promoted and you're the star man, your stock is going to go through the roof. Do you then progress that one year later and have an excellent season in the Premier League? At 22 years old, he'll be there. Sky's your limit. There's no rush for him. 
and he's our player. He's on a five-year contract. If there's no clause in that contract, we can say you're staying. If he chooses to sulk and not play, that's the issue. If he chooses, and I think Will is this type of guy who will get on with it, carry on, fine, okay, let's do it. But best believe, if the right amount of money comes in, I imagine the board would want to sell. But what a statement it would be to keep Willie, right? Same with Adams. Adams is Adams is a tough one. Because again, he's a little older. I don't know about a clause. I'm not sure. I think there might be one, which could be an issue. But if we can, can convince Tyler Adams, give him the captaincy. This team is yours. You are the captain. You are going to play every game. You are going to be the focal point of this team. Give us one year, Tyler. It's not. A, there's not a World Cup for three years. There's no need to rush in that sense. Give us one year as the main man. We will build the team around your vo vocal, your energy, whatever. Keep him. Statement. Those two players for me could be a huge statement for Leeds United. If you can convince them to stay, that shows the league you're serious. That shows any manager you're trying to get in, you're serious. That shows everyone you're serious. It shows the players you're serious. That's what we have to do for me. They could easily leave. That's fine. We have to be bullish. We have to put a statement down. And when I say bullish, and again, I'm thinking about another player, Max Fober. Decent European player. Played at big clubs, good clubs, and played consistently, fairly consistently for big clubs. Does he have a clause in his contract? I don't know. Potentially. Probably will. Again, if we can convince him who stay, you have Nonto, Adams and Vorba in that team. Arguably, arguably, our three best players, Bar Simstera, because I still think he's elite. He will leave, and rightfully so. He'll go to a top European club, in my opinion. Top as in decent Premier League, uh, Champions League, whatever. But anyway, when, when our players were injured this year, it was Sinistera, Nonto, Adams, and Voba. And we were done. You can keep those ones, Nonto, Voba, and Adams, in the championship for one season and get us back up. That is a statement and a half. Best believe that is a statement. You can keep arguably your best players. It's a statement. All the others can go. We'll take the money for them and we'll invest in other players. On to manager. Let me know what you guys think on that, by the way. And I'm not saying we will keep him. The club might respect the players and say, right, you know what? If you really want to go get the right price, we will sell you. Okay. But they might, the owners might come in and say, no, we want you to stay. We want you to get us back to the Premier League. It's one year. Give us one year. If we fail, fair enough. If, if we can give us one year in the championship to get us back up there, please. But anyway, on to manager. And I'm seeing Brendan Rodgers. Anyone that wouldn't take Brendan Rodgers is mental, by the way. Great coach. Great man manager. Despite what some people say. Brendan Rodgers is a guy that you have to back. Brendan Rodgers, is a, if you're serious about promotion, he is a leading candidate at any time, any team that wants to go back up. Because he's a, Premier League, he's a Premier League manager. Despite what happened at Liverpool, he did well. He did do well. He bottled it in the end, but he did well there. He did really well at Celtic. Came to the Premier League with Leicester. Did well initially. Won, did well in the league. Won an FA Cup. What's happened this year is still what's happened to us. Sell the good assets. Don't replace them with ones that are just as good or anywhere near as good as those assets. That's what's happened. They didn't spend enough money on the right people and they sold good assets. He struggled. He sold Schmeichel, who was their captain, their main man, their vocal, their, their leader. Sold him, replaced him with a goalkeeper who, with respect, was nowhere near as, much, as, as good as him. That hurts, and they never replaced the players they needed. That's why they failed. That's why they will go down if they go down, because it's just not good enough in that sense. And for me, if you can get Brendan Rodgers, who, by the way, had an incredible team, 
championship with Swansea. You're setting yourself up to success, especially if you can get those players kept and you can really invest in the squad and be bullish. And when I mean bullish as well, I mean get the best transfers. I want the best players in the championship that are not Premier League ready. Joel Perot is one, and he might go to the Premier League. He could easily go to the Premier League. He could go to a top tier club, right? As in, maybe to like a back back into not back into Holland or somewhere like that. But Joel Perot, if we could get him, do it. I don't want to see any other team in the Championship getting him. Southampton or, the, or whoever comes down, I want him. If they beat us to him, that is not being bullish enough because he is a top player. And if you can have him and Nonto in your attack. Are you seeing, are you see, with Rodgers as your manager, are you seeing the potential? We have to be bullish. We have to say, we're getting this player. We want you. How much do you want for him? Right, we'll do that. Obviously, you've got to be sensible. We've got to identify good talent, and we've got to identify which young talent we have in our youth academy. Who is ready? Because there'll be two or three. I'm not going to say five or six. I just realized I've got two first. I'll ignore that. There'll be two or three who are very ready. Right. players step up in the summer, it happens. And you're going to rely on them in that league. We need two or three young players to step up and be ready. We need to build a real squad of experience, elite talent for that level, and youth. We need all a mix. We will go straight back up. If we don't do that, we get the managerial performance wrong, we get the, the recruitment wrong, we will suffer massively. We have to be bullish. We have to get the best players in that league for that level. Don't let anyone beat anyone to our targets in that league. If a, if a Premier League beats you to a target, fair enough. But in that league, I don't want anyone to beat any of them. We need to get the best players. We need to be that big club mentality. We have to do that. We have to go into each game wanting to destroy every team. Because this whole rhetoric that we're the biggest club down there, you know, everyone's cup final. Yes. We have to be that good that that doesn't affect us. Like we did in the say in the second season. Everyone's cup final, but they couldn't cope with us. It didn't matter in most cases. Some cases it did, because, again, we had about 30 injuries every week. We just played teams off the park, and that's what I want. And if we got the right players in and we bought the best players, we could spend a bit of money on some good players, got the right recruitment in, and we got the best manager we could at that level, we could absolutely destroy. But that could easily go the other way around as well. We have to get this right, regardless of who goes and who stays. It has to be the right thing, the right people. Or it could be disastrous. I'm saying all this, we could be in the Premier League by Sunday evening. Because two teams could lose and we could win. I know it's not like that, guys. You have to tell me. I know. I'm just saying, by factually, it's not over, right? Mentally, it's over. But factually, it isn't. So there's always that little bit, but I'm talking about if we did go down here. But let me know what you guys think on all of that. Do you agree? Do you think we need to be more sensible? Do we need to use the youth more, rely on them? Some, you know, Do we need to go for a younger manager with less experience who plays a good style of football? What do you guys think? Do we need to get rid of all these players? I don't think we do. I think there's real ones we could keep. It could be really beneficial. Let me know what you guys think. Um... Please leave a like if you don't mind um, and subscribe. I'm really close to 500, so to get 500 would be crazy, uh, genuinely. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate this part. And who, also, who would you go for a coach? I'm looking at players like, I'm looking here, Cobrahan, Allardyce, would you stick with Allardyce? Postalogu from, from Celtic. Is that Nuno still there, Vieira? Obviously, Brendan, Carlos, Potter. Let me know who you guys think. Um, who would you go for? Let me know. I appreciate the support as usual and 